Welcome back to a new video. Breast cancer is the most common type of cancer in women. It affects 1 million people worldwide annually. While many famous women have survived breast cancer, sadly, many have also succumbed to the disease. We honor the memory of the women who lost their lives to breast cancer. This video serves as a heartfelt tribute to their legacy. Eva Ekval won the title of Miss Venezuela in 2000, when she was just 17 years old. In 2010, after having her first child, she was diagnosed with advanced breast cancer. She wrote a book titled Fuera de Foco, which translates to Out of Focus, where she shared her battle with the disease. Eva Ekval sadly passed away after her brave fight with cancer. Marnie Schulenberg, a great actress and Emmy-nominated performer, passed away at the age of 37, just days before what would have been her 38th birthday. She died from metastatic breast cancer. The actress had a daughter at the end of 2019, and only five months later she discovered she was seriously ill. Marnie left behind her daughter Coda and her husband, Zach Rabidas. Soraya, a Colombian-American singer, won a Latin Grammy in 2004 for the Best Female Album. She was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2000 and used her platform to educate Hispanic women about the disease. Soraya wrote songs and performed in both English and Spanish. She also toured with famous musicians like Sting and Peter Gabriel and was becoming increasingly popular on Spanish-language radio. Sadly, she passed away from breast cancer at the age of 37. Sarah Harding, best known from the British pop group Girls Aloud, who had 21 UK top 10 singles, passed away at the age of 39 due to breast cancer. In August 2020, Harding revealed that she had been diagnosed with the disease, which had spread to other parts of her body. Her mother Marie announced her death on Instagram, describing her beautiful daughter as a bright shining star. Miriam broke new ground for women in mathematics when she won the prestigious Fields Medal in 2014. Miriam was the first woman to win the award since its inception in 1936. She is sadly gone far too soon, but her impact will live on for the thousands of women she inspired to pursue math and science. In 2000, mother of three Jane Tomlinson was given just six months to live, but she vowed not to give in to breast cancer and went on to cycle across America and the length of Britain, as well as taking part in countless marathons and triathlons. She raised almost $2 million for charity in a series of grueling endurance events and was hailed as an inspiration to all those with incurable diseases.
English actress Jill Ireland appeared in many films with her husband, Charles Bronson. After her diagnosis in 1984, she wrote two books chronicling her battle with breast cancer and became a spokeswoman for the American Cancer Society, encouraging women with breast cancer to maintain self-respect and optimism. Jill Ireland passed away on May 18, 1990, at her home in Malibu. She was 54 years old. Linda McCartney was a noted music photographer in the 1960s when she met her future husband, Paul McCartney, with whom she formed the band Wings. She later turned her interest in vegetarian cuisine into a line of popular cookbooks and the Linda McCartney Foods brand of vegetarian and vegan food. In 1995, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and died from the disease three years later at the age of 56. A memorial service was held at St. Martin in the Fields in London on June 8, 1998. Touch on a Paddits, one of the original supermodels, sadly passed away at the age of 56 from breast cancer. Although the supermodel era waned in the mid-90s, Tajana continued her modeling career sporadically. A lifelong animal lover, she devoted significant time to caring for her pets. She was deeply compassionate and a strong advocate for animal rights, especially focusing on the conservation of wild horses. Tajana spent many years in California, living a private life and raising her son out of the spotlight. On the morning of July 12, 2020, Kelly Preston, adored wife and mother, passed away following a two-year battle with breast cancer. Choosing to keep her fight private, she had been undergoing medical treatment for some time. Supported by her closest family and friends, Preston is survived by her husband, John Travolta, and their children, daughter Ella, and son Benjamin. Son Jet died at age 16 in January 2009. God rest her soul. Dusty Springfield, a symbol of the swinging 60s, delivered numerous soulful hits such as Son of a Preacher Man, I Only Want to Be With You, and her critically acclaimed album, Dusty in Memphis. She passed away from breast cancer on March 17, 99, just six weeks shy of her 60th birthday. Two weeks after her death, she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, recognizing her significant contributions to music. He was, he was. I present the Academy Award for the best performance of an actress in supporting roles during 1939 to Hattie McDaniel. Hattie McDaniel, the star of Gone with the Wind, made history as the first black actor to win an Oscar. Her groundbreaking career was cut short in 1951 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. After her passing, 
the groundbreaking actress was posthumously awarded two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She was inducted into the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame in 1975 and honored with a commemorative U.S. postage stamp in 2006. I sincerely hope I shall always be a credit to my race and to the motion picture industry. My heart is too full to tell you just how I feel. And may I say thank you. <laughs> I am one of them. I have been a defender of women, of minorities, of those who are the outcasts of this society. Patricia Roberts Harris was a woman of many firsts. She was the first black woman to serve the nation as ambassador, the first black woman to become dean of a law school, and the first black woman to serve in a presidential cabinet. Roberts Harris died of breast cancer on March 23, 1985, at the age of 60. Naomi Sims, widely recognized as the first black supermodel, broke significant barriers in the fashion industry when she appeared on the cover of Ladies Home Journal in 1968. After retiring from modeling in the early 1970s, she launched her own line of beauty products, building it into a multi-million dollar business. Naomi Sims passed away at the age of 61 due to breast cancer. Actress Elena Reed Amini, renowned for her roles as Olivia Robinson on Sesame Street and Rosalie Holloway on the sitcom 227, passed away at the age of 63 from breast cancer. After marrying Tamim Amini in 2008, she changed her name from Elena Reed Hall to Elena Reed Amini. Nina Simone, a classically trained pianist known for her rich low tenor, was a versatile performer who excelled in blues, jazz, gospel, and folk music. She battled breast cancer for several years. Simone passed away in her sleep at her home in France at the age of 70. Olivia Newton-John, the beloved musical star best known for her role in the film Grease, has passed away at the age of 73. 
For over 30 years, Olivia shared her breast cancer journey, becoming a symbol of hope and resilience. She died peacefully at her ranch in Southern California, surrounded by family and friends. Hopelessly devoted Enjoy each day, because you never know what tomorrow will bring. TV star Suzanne Somers, best known for her role on the sitcom Three's Company, passed away on October 15, 2023, after a long battle with breast cancer, which had metastasized to her brain. She was 76 years old. Rest well, dear Suzanne. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. A legend of the silver screen, Bette Davis was the first person to be nominated for 10 Academy Awards, winning two. Often described as feisty, she gave performances that were always worth watching, even in lesser films. She died of breast cancer in 1989 at the age 81. She got Betty Davis, Daphne Sheldrick, a renowned conservationist known for her pioneering work with baby elephants in Kenya, passed away at age 83 due to breast cancer. She was the first person to successfully hand-raise newborn elephants and rhinos, a breakthrough that has helped save over 230 orphaned elephants in Kenya and many more across Africa and India. Her efforts were featured in numerous TV programs and documentaries, and she authored several books. Daphne Sheldrick's legacy will continue to inspire. May she rest in peace. Thank you for joining us in honoring the memory of those who battled breast cancer. Our thoughts are with their families, friends, and loved ones as we send strength and support during this difficult time.